We arrive carrying a priceless treasure of innate resources and limitless capacities on our profound journey through life. However, we are bombarded with the persistent notion of inadequacy from birth, leading us to pursue external desires and illusory dreams. This pervasive illusion has an effect on our lives, forcing us to look outside ourselves all the time, ignoring the abundant tools that are already nestled in the sanctuary of our being. Genuine revelation, on the other hand, comes when we dive into the timeless wisdom of turning inwards. A profound wisdom that reveals the incredible power of self-completion and wholeness as our purpose. The superficial transcends in this life. It invites us to evolve and break free from the invisible bonds that bind our souls. However, in our mundane activities, we are frequently entangled by a convincing illusion, the illusion of time itself, that relentless pursuit, that incessant rush, and the terrifying feeling of not having enough time all conspired to take us away from the precious present moment. As a result, we are either trapped by the fascinating future or trapped in the implacable grasps of the past. As a result, we become entangled in the labyrinth of our own traumas and dramas which trap us in a web of repetitive patterns and behaviors. Instead of paving the way for evolution and liberation, we unwittingly commit ourselves to an endless cycle of repetition, a labyrinth of experiences that keeps us going in circles. As a result, we willingly enter a deep and complex game, a game born from the shadows of our own inner world a world marked by our inner child's unhealed wounds. These invisible wounds cast long shadows that prevent us from growing, effectively trapping us within the confines of our own personal prison. We can sometimes fail to recognize how easily we can become engulfed in the relentless pursuit of something illusory. However, it is critical that we free ourselves from this never-ending pursuit. So it's critical that you take a precious pause in your day to experience the deep sense of fulfillment within yourself. The great system, which is similar to the enigmatic matrix, forces us to pursue our desires relentlessly. It reminds me of the timeless fable about the donkey who never stops chasing. The ever-elusive carrot, just out of reach. Even in the most mundane situations, like our rush to get out of traffic, we are trapped in an endless cycle of chasing the indescribable purpose of life, like a mirage deludes our grasp as we perpetually fixate on the horizon of the future entangled in an endless pursuit of indescribable dreams and distant goals before the light turns red. The point is, that the very essence of existence cannot be found in tomorrow's realms. But exactly what is this essence? We call this force reality, but what exactly is it? Is it material, spiritual, physical, or mental in nature? Is it something that can be clearly limited to linguistic boundaries? Or does it go beyond the bounds of human expression? Perhaps the answer lies in the paradox of reality itself. Reality is a profound mystery that defies complete comprehension or explanation. It is both tangible and intangible, visible and invisible. It is a perplexing enigma that invites us to delve into its depths. Beyond the limitations of words and concepts, as we embark on this journey, we may discover that the answers we seek are not in the concrete or the abstract, but in the harmonious dance between the two. This is like a hidden gem, elusive but always present and patiently awaiting our discovery. It does not manifest itself in grandiose displays, but in the simple, profound moments of life, such as a gentle breeze, a child's innocent laughter, and the heat of the sun on our skin. 
These everyday encounters provide glimpses of the profound beauty and inherent power that lie beneath the enigmatic fabric of reality. The, the true essence of life can be found in the present moment. A chance to fully immerse ourselves in the intricate dance of existence. The rich tapestry of experience unfolds before us, patiently awaiting our conscious involvement and sincere appreciation in this sacred moment of the here and now. When we relinquish our unyielding control over the future, we realize that life is an endless journey in which every breath, every heartbeat, and every encounter contributes to sculpting the essence of our existence to fixate on. To focus solely on what is yet to come is to overlook the extraordinary beauty and wonder that resides in each fleeting moment. With this viewpoint, we discover a liberating freedom, a freedom that frees us from the bonds of expectation introducing us to the limitless potential inherent in the present. However, the external world's illusions, such as the relentless pursuit of material wealth and mundane success, frequently conspire to distract us. The constant chatter of our own uneasy minds and the terrifying fear of the unknown, the turbulence of our minds, is an unending swirl of thoughts and worries that obscure our perception of reality's true essence. But it is in this sacred silence that we silence it. We find the purest way of living the most authentic manifestation of ourselves in this peaceful space where we open the portal to true existence to the unadulterated essence of being in the embrace of silence. We embark on a journey to discover our true purpose within this profound stillness. Our authentic destiny, a purpose free of the weight of beliefs, desires, and conditioned personalities instilled in us by society. From the start, we are born, given a name, and placed in an environment that shapes us, instilling in us a complex web of beliefs and desires. Over time, we become deeply attached to these narratives, mistakenly believing that they define the essence of our being. As a result, everything we believe to be true is just a story. A story woven by the mind's intricate workings. The spiritual journey does not unfold from the essence of our true being. As we courageously relinquish control over these stories, we embark on a journey of unlearning a process that is frequently accompanied by the pains of transformation. Our, the ego, the very force that holds these narratives together, strongly opposes change in order to maintain control over what is familiar. The ego clings to the illusion of control and incorrectly believes that our very survival is in jeopardy. If we relinquish certain aspects of our identity, however, in order to progress, we must disidentify from the ego, emancipating ourselves from its unyielding dominion. In this way, the ego finds its balance over time, and we are in tune with its presence. This entails letting go of our attachments to the stories. We encircle ourselves recognizing that we are not defined solely by our past or our conditioned narratives. We are, in essence, life itself, an expansive and limitless consciousness in the radiant light of now. We are encouraged to let go of the shackles of our worries and free ourselves from the weight of our problems. We recognize our true essence and surrender to it right now. Nothing is incorrect unless we choose to believe otherwise. With this viewpoint, we recognize that the present moment is the channel through which we achieve perfection, completeness, and harmony. Remember that focusing inwards leads to a serene and liberating state, whereas focusing outwards manifests our fears. 
beliefs and anxieties. The concept of self is similar to a dream, a dream woven into the fabric of our consciousness by our mind's intricate workings, an attempt to define and comprehend our existence. This vision is not entirely our own. It is the result of our conditioning, which has been shaped by societal, cultural, and personal influences. With time, years of habitual identification have solidified this structure, leading us to believe in the illusion of separation from the vast universe. It is this construct that speaks in our conversations about our experiences, emotions, and the limitations of our physical form, our true self. The essence of who we are, however, transcends. These are the obvious boundaries. It exists beyond the boundaries of form, place, and dimension in order to awaken from the dream of self. You are about to embark on a journey of deep awareness and mindfulness. This journey entails observing your thoughts and emotions objectively without judgment or attachment, and accepting them as transient phenomena rather than absolute truths. These thoughts do not come from a single person, but rather from a collective consciousness that shapes. By adopting an objective perspective and observing your thoughts as if they were belonging to a third person, you embark on a journey to unravel the layers of conditioning that have woven the illusion of the self. And in doing so, you move closer to a genuine state of liberation and enlightenment, a state in which the true essence of your being shines through, free of the illusions of separation and ego. In our deep journey of self-awareness, we discover that thoughts flow through us like a river on its own. Our attachment to these thoughts causes us to believe that they define us and that we are the ones who cause them. We reveal a profound truth when we let go of our fears, anxieties, and the weight of depression. They are simply illusions created by the intricate dance of the mind, which can be observed by taking a step back and simply observing the unfolding of these mental phenomena. In this revelation, we realize that they are nothing more than energy at their core. There's no need to label them as good or bad. They are simply natural forces, human beings. Condition is a complex structure characterized by constant yearnings and desires a never-ending desire for more and an insatiable appetite. We are constantly dissatisfied, always looking for something that is out of reach. We are constantly looking for new challenges. The next adventure, the next victory or achievement with the expectation of fulfillment on the horizon. However, this cycle will always be a circle in constant rotation. And as a result, we are conditioned to believe that achieving peace requires changing the world around us or transforming ourselves. However, the source of our suffering is not found in the outside world. It is deep within us. The source of our dissatisfaction is not the ever-changing external landscape, but rather our own perceptions, attachments, and desires. So keep in mind that the true path to serenity and fulfillment begins when we turn inwards, exploring the vast landscapes of our inner world and unraveling the layers of our own conditioned desires. And it is in this state that true liberty thrives. So, starting now, prioritize deliberate moments. In this breathing, pause to take a deep breath. Become fully conscious of your presence while reconnecting with your core essence. Accept everything that is happening in the present moment and let go of the frenetic pursuit of external goals. Because, upon closer examination, you will discover that the journey has no specific destination. Returning to your core is the way to the path. 
you rekindle the sense of pure and innocent being that children have, uncontaminated by the never-ending pursuit of external desires. So, I hope this information illuminates your inner journey. Always remember to direct your attention inward, to cultivate inner peace that transcends the turmoil and confusion of the outside world. This inner peace is available to all of us, regardless of our origins or beliefs. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel and share it with others so that they may benefit from this message. And please leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences. Thank you for watching once more. And thank you for joining me. Take care and see you soon.